This call is now being recorded. Okay, yeah. So, hello everyone. Today, the main goal here is to understand what is exam SRM about. So, as you can see, SRM is like statistics for risk modeling. If you compare it with the CA, uh, IFOA or IEI equivalent, it is, it is, I would say, similar to this exam, CS2, but not too similar. I would say it's like around 40% similar because the topics in CS2, they are more advanced in the sense of like, you have that entire thing called Markov and then you have the other risk models and then which is not there in SRM. So that is the main difference. Then also it this subject SRM also does not have those parts of survival. So what is common? I would say the common parts are mainly machine learning, which SRM deals in detail. And then you have time series and a bit of linear models. I think that was a part of CS1 where you have the GLM and the linear models. So I think 40% would also be a overestimate. I should say 30% from CS2. So yeah, relatively simpler than CS2. Okay. What else? So here, the number of settings, it's more, more than what we have in IFOA and IEI. It's three settings per year. It's fixed January. Then you have one in May and then one in September. So between every exam, you can see there are three full months available. Now, what is the exam fees? The next point, the exam fees is $340. So this is for non-students. And if you are a student and it's verified by the Institute SOA, then there is a 20% reduced fee that is applicable. So which would mean you will have to pay $68 less. Also, what is the prerequisite for this exam? If you are already a student of SOA, then I would say exam P, that is the probability, the first exam, which is similar to CS1, that would be a prerequisite. Or if you are already given, uh, you have already given, let's say, exams from IFOA or IEI, then CS1 would be a prerequisite. If you have like studied CS1, that would also give you an advantage in this exam because I had already mentioned that some parts of it are common with CS1, like the linear models part, the generalized linear models, etc. This exam, again, it's a full MCQ exam consisting of 35 questions. You'll have three and a half hours and it's a center-based exam. Coming to the details of the exam. So what are the topics? More or less, it has five topics. It's given in the syllabus of the exam. Then. These five topics are divided into 10 different chapters. Let's see topic wise, how many chapters do we have? What is the topic name? What weightage is given to each of the topics? By weightage, it means how many number of questions would show up in the exam. So if you think of total 100% to be 35 MCQs, so you can just calculate, right? If I say a particular topic is having a weightage of 5 to 10%, then it's uh, you can calculate how many questions can you expect from this chapter in exam. So what is the topic one? It's basics of statistical learning. So here you have, you'll be having one chapter from the act text material, and you could expect five to 10% of your questions from this particular topic. So this is a introductory kind of uh, chapter, which talks about, I think, bias, variance, trade off and topics like that. Then you have topic two. So I've given a star mark here because it's the most important topic in the sense that the weightage is very high. You can see it's 40 to 50%, like almost 50% of your exam comes from this topic called linear models. So here it's very, very detailed. You will have four different chapters, which will cover different topics under linear models. So it's very detailed. So if you Think about it. If I give you a bit of detail, then it will consist of the simple linear model, simple linear model. Then they also have the matrix version. So matrix version of the linear model. Then you will have detailed GLM, which is a big chapter. Yeah. So that is how I would say this linear models is divided. Next, 
you have time series not very important because it consists of two chapters but the weightage is roughly 10 to 15 percent so not saying that you have, would you would have to skip it but yeah weightage wise it's less important so you'd have two chapters from the text material covering this time series model so this i would say is more or less similar to the cs2 material then next topic is your decision trees this is very important because if you look at this it is only consisting of one chapter which is also not too long and the weightage is quite high so you can expect a lot of questions on this particular chapter on decision trees and lastly then you have this topic number five which is consisting of two chapters with a weightage of 10 to 15 percent what is it it's unsupervised learning techniques so within that you would expect two topics one is called pca the principal component analysis and then you will have cluster analysis these are the two chapters which come under unsupervised learning techniques i think yeah that's all about srm so roughly five topics 10 chapters 35 mcqs three and a half hour exam exam fees is 340 dollars 20 percent discount if you are a student member prerequisite would be cs1 or exam p you have three exam settings in a year note that this entire uh, subject is only theoretical so mcqs are uh, like more application based i would say it consists of a lot of conceptual questions each question will have i think five options so you have to select one of them in terms of the number of hours you can think of this exam requiring 200 around 200 hours i would say and as i mentioned it's mostly theoretical there's no practical part of it as you would find in cs1 or cs2 from ifoa or iei but here it's the application of this particular subject will appear in a different exam called exam pa which is predictive Analy analytics okay oh sorry for that okay let me rewrite the exam is predictive analytics which is mostly based on r so it's a different exam exam srm won't consist of any of the practical parts but they do mention in the in some places like that a particular topic it could be very important in r so they just give a heads up there that that particular topic would be again studied in this exam pa that's all about uh, srm exam that i wanted to share with you thank you very much